to see everybody. Welcome to a daytime. It's uh, November 1st. That's right. We're into uh, November now and uh, Marcia away today and pinch hitting for her. Uh, pleasure to welcome Donald DeHaney from Scene Magazine. How are you, Donald? Oh, I'm fine. And you know what? I caught the show yesterday and mm -hmm. I can't believe that I get to say this before you say it to me. You were pretty in pink yesterday. Well, thank you very much. I was very proud of myself. So, was... uh, and not bad in uh, kind of maroon today. But you know what? I thought you would be more like a Pillsbury Doughboy. Thanks. So <laughs> warm and cuddly. In fact, I think oh, if I poke you, you'll, my finger will bounce. Though. There'll be no poking on today's <laughs> show. I want you to know that's in the waiver. It's in the rider. You signed to come on here. But uh, yeah, I was working with Cinderella yesterday and uh, Donald today. So, uh, <laughs> here we are. Actually, a lot of people are worried about Marcia because it's her uh, first Halloween, she told us yesterday. Like, she stayed at home. She was going to hand out uh, treats to everybody for the first time ever. And uh, well, unfortunately, if you look right here, uh, yeah, she didn't fare all that well. <laughs> but I, I have something in common, Marcia, because mm -hmm. I never trick-or-treated either. Why? Because I live in the country, too. Yeah. And then I had no one to drive me around to strange houses. Mm -hmm. well, that's, so we have something uh, in common. Flat out wrong. We're going to have to get you guys together or something like that. Now, do you dress up in costume? Like on a... Uh, only if I'm paid to. Or oh, okay. for a charity. Oh, okay. Either but you know what? what? When I got... I was trying to get a haircut for this because I knew I was doing the gig today. Want to be styling? You knew you were going right, to be sitting next to me, the pressure was on, sure. Okay. That too. But anyway, for 15 <laughs> years, I've had the same hairdresser. He couldn't do it this week, so I had I was, I was had to go some emergency, and I went Super to... Super cuts? Well, no, yeah. I was going to go okay. to a barber, because okay. I wanted a conservative look to sit beside you. Oh, and okay. I got to Why the, am I a conservative guy? You know, oh, I think so. Really? But I, I got to this barber shop, mm -hmm. and I saw there was like this guy who was old, as old as Methuselah in the seat, and this, <laughs> it looked like whipped cream under his neck, and I just headed for the hills. Yeah. So yesterday I went to Ted, <laughs> Ted at Innovations in Hair. Okay. So I feel like I'm cheating on my, my favorite hairdresser, but oh, uh, really? sorry, Charlie, but Char yeah. Charlie, you have our express apologies. Because there is a bond, isn't there? I know there you're is. really uh, into that. You guys gossip a lot, probably talk. Now, is this barber the one where you got, like, the barber side, that kind of old thing? That, that uh, was the one that was scary, that I yeah. headed for the hills, yes. <laughs> it was traumatic, actually. I don't know why barbers need to keep their combs and stuff in barber side when none of us have that at home. Like, I don't have that in my uh, bathroom vanity. No? No. <laughs> you do? Barber side? <laughs> well, I mean... Uh, just in case. Uh, you know what? i got to share my Halloween with you, though. Okay. Uh, well, it was funny in our neighborhood because we just get deluged with kids each and every year. That uh, I mean, we Actually, I, I don't know if we can get the, those over there. Trevor, can you, uh, is there any way you can grab all that garbage stuff there that I brought in? Uh, see if you can grab that and toss it, does it in look here. Like garbage, actually, yeah. Well, I just want to show everybody the, uh, the commitment I had uh, to the, uh, the cause that is uh, Halloween this year. Well over, in excess, thank you, sir of like $65 worth of tricks and treats. So this is what we went through at the MacArthur residence. So one, there you go, uh, big pack of Nestle's, gone. Oh my goodness. The, also that, done with. That's all the stuff I just ate alone. And uh, Skittles, we're, I'm not making this up. We went through that. Uh, but how much did you get when you trick-or-treated? These, the these are great. Caramel apples, you gotta have those. Oh, and delicious. Twix, gone, uh, nip. See, I mean, we, we shelled out this year. We just get killed by the kids at Halloween at our place. Did you, know you know give any to your, your dog? Uh, no, no, no chocolate. No, no. no chocolate for the dogs. Our, at our, all. our cats, we don't give any either, too. No, no. that's bad. So, I mean, uh, we, we gave out all this candy. It was funny. There was a, there was a bit of an episode on our street. Oh. Mm -hmm. And this is, I mean, when uh, trick-or-treating goes really high-tech. Uh, there was a cowboy uh, at this uh, at our neighbors across the street at the doorstep and the skeleton down on the corner and they were like bickering like they'd been married for 25 years these two they were like uh, the skeleton, you just ruined my Halloween <laughs> I'm phoning mom right he gets on the cell phone his phone his parents back there said ratting out his brother on what a horrible Halloween they're having well uh, where, where we live <laughs> we're surrounded by cemeteries and mm -hmm. Halloween's the only time All where we have birth. noise Really? Yeah, it's because it gets lively at that time. So. I hope the property values aren't too high. <laughs> no, they're not. You live by, by cemetery, really? Yeah, we do. Surrounded by cemetery. All right, well, here's a few of my uh, highlights, if you will, if we can follow along. I took uh, took the camera out last night, and I uh, thought I'd take uh, pictures of some of the better costumes. thought those were pretty good there. I don't know if we can get in a little tighter on that. But uh, there's the uh, lovely uh, little witch. Oh, cute. And her sister. Yeah, they look great, don't they? Okay, and then we've got uh, right here, if you uh, take a look. There we've got... Uh, Little Liam, our next door neighbor, who's a tiger or whatever. That was great. And oh, yeah, there's a uh, sorry, me and my buddy uh, Tony right in the middle of it. We were having a good time. <laughs> it looks like it, too. Got a couple of beers going on. Well, isn't it strange there. that the time change happens before Halloween? Because it's dark for the kids to go. Well, but it was nice perfect. weather. Nice oh, weather. It was just the best. We'll talk to John Hookster from the Weather Center in a second. So uh, Tony and I were having a good time. Then there's uh, we had a little, uh, little love child, little peace girl with oh, hair extensions geez. in and all that. I thought this was great. Father and oh, son combination. Wow. That's neat. <laughs> 
got uh, Dr. Evil and uh, Mini-Me, which is nice. Oh, yeah, there's uh, me and Tony again. Get, getting a lo little more wonky as, as the night went on there. And uh, then we had, like, a little uh, space character, a little, uh, little Chewbacca guy there. And then uh, finally, yeah, the, the night got a little ugly right at the end between Tony and I. What's been your favorite costume <laughs> that you won? Uh, you can keep that as a souvenir, oh, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yours. It'd be nice on my dartboard. Thanks. My favorite costume that I've ever been was uh, about three years ago, and uh, you'll like this one. I was the uh, the green M&M. &M. Mm. You know you know what green M&Ms do to you, don't you? They no. apparently get the uh, the blood boiling. Yeah, your mojo kind of happened <laughs> there going on, uh, according to lore. But, but I had no idea until somebody pointed out to me halfway through Halloween that it, the costume had eyelashes on it. I was actually the female. I was like the world's first transgender oh M&M. &M. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> what about you? Um, probably Cher. Cher. You if, were Cher. I was Cher. Yeah. Oh, good. If you could turn back time, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was fun. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> what else? What? Oh, by the way, we got to uh, tell people trivia. We're losing our heads here this morning. Uh, six six zero seven five six nine. If you uh, want to play along, give us a call now. We'll get to that in a second. As well, we're going to give away a big prize at the end of the show today because uh, uh, with Halloween ended, uh, Rogers was running this uh, most uh, fantastic house contest. Oh, see about it, this? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Fantastic. So we have the uh, grand prize winner, which we'll draw for at the end of daytime today when they get $500 worth of video rentals from uh, Rogers Video, which is a great thing. I know you uh, follow sports uh, quite a bit. Uh, did you catch a baseball game last week? No, no, I don't. No? I, no, I don't follow sports. Why? Oh, well, tennis in the summer, but... That's no, it? No. Yeah. Just, well, what is it about tennis? Uh, well, I, I just Guys think in the shorts running around, <laughs> or what's going oh. on? What do you like about that? No, actually, uh, I, I just think it's an exciting game, and it, it requires mm -hmm. intelligence. Mm -hmm. What? Tell me about the care. game last night. Oh, well, the Yankees. I mean, uh, this is uh, very uh, symbolic for the uh, city of New York. Just when you thought they were dead and done, they uh, came back uh, two out in the bottom of the ninth. Tino Martinez with a big homer to tie it, then Derek Jeter in the 10th to uh, win it with a home run. So the World Series now tied at two games apiece, and this will be the first time ever tonight that a World Series game is played in the month of November. So Who do you think on. is going to win? I think Yankees are going to win. You think the Yankees? Yep. Why the Yankees? I think the spirit is with them. Yeah. I mean, you know. They're, they're kind of riding away. Yes, they're they're yes. Go, so I think you're right, actually. I hate to say because I'm tired of the Yankees always winning, but uh, it would be good for the city of New York. It definitely. No hey, here's something, actually, I think you'll like, and uh, you probably follow along with this right here. That was kind of interesting in the paper today. Uh, big news that he's finally uh, going to hang up the blades. He's going to retire. There's Elvis Stoiko. And no wonder he's going to retire. Look at him there. He looks like he's about 300 pounds, doll. Oh, my God. That's a bad picture, don't you think? <laughs> he looks like a blow-up doll. Yeah. yeah. Ken. Oh. There he is right there, Elvis Stoiko. Obviously not skating on thin ice, if you will. Right <laughs> but he's done well. Yeah. Like, don't you think? Yeah. No, well, you know, I think he's hung on maybe a little too long. But What do you think about um, the baseball guy that came back from retirement? Um, the baseball you, guy. You know, basketball. Oh, Michael Jordan, yeah, basketball like, guy. Yeah, like, right. Like, don't you think he should have left when he was on top? Well, you know what? He did. I mean, he had that final shot. Yeah. He walked out, and I thought that was great. And unfortunately, he comes back, and he looks heavier now, and he looks slower and, yeah. and older. And uh, I, I was reading a thing from one writer today that it looks like gravity's finally caught up to Air Jordan. It's kind of sad <laughs> when, when, when famous people, sports players, come back out of retirement, and they should mm -hmm. have stayed exactly. there. Exactly. They take it a little too. They don't know. It's hard. It's hard to retire. It's hard to hang it up after all the glory in there. So, uh, also hard to take is this uh, article in the paper today that the uh, the Simpsons are picking on us, us Canadians. Do you hear about this? Well, I think that we deserve to get picked on sometimes, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, we are pretty ripe for the picking. There's no, there's no <laughs> doubt about it. Uh, apparently, uh, Simpsons is an episode that's going to air in February on Fox. Uh, the Simpsons are going to Toronto. They're heading to a TO in this episode. And I thought it was kind of fun because they step off the bus, they take the big trip. Actually, I guess Homer says, uh, why, why should we leave America to visit America Junior? Very, very well done. <laughs> well, no, okay, whatever. Uh, you know, uh, they, they step off the uh, bus apparently as well uh, for, in Toronto, and uh, they're met by a Mountie, a hockey player, and a Sasquatch, which I thought was... <laughs> that, is, that sounds like a great episode. That is about, and then March says, uh, for her first impressions of Toronto, uh, Ooh, it's so clean and bland. I, I feel like I'm at home. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, but it's not the first time uh, that uh, actually uh, the Simpsons have made fun of Canada. I hadn't seen this episode, but apparently, according to this writer, uh, Bill Brio, uh, in the Free Press today, says that uh, there was a Canadian kid introduced to Bart's class a couple seasons back, and that forced all the other students in Bart's class to talk more slowly. Are, are you a fan of Simpsons or South Park? Which do you prefer? Uh, I like them both, but Simpsons I absolutely love. Oh, it, it's you? South Park. Mm -hmm. I, and I love their their uh, movie where they you know they took on Canada. Sure. Oh, blame Canada. Yeah. No, no, it was fun though, <laughs> in good spirit. And mm -hmm. it, I mean, but I actually think that Canadian comedy is 
I prefer it to American. I think that we have a, a, a better sense of humor. Well, the problem is all the Canadians are in America yeah. working. It's, uh, oh. And actually, one of the writers on The Simpsons is uh, from Toronto, actually. Really? So that's probably where they got all that. And The Simpsons, uh, it says in this article here, it's amazing. I didn't know it was going this long. 13th season this year. It'll kick off next week. 250 episodes. They've already passed that mark, so it's a phenomenal Fantastic. Phenomenal runaway uh, hit. Uh, okay, yeah, Jeremy's yelling in my ear. Let's let's do trivia here then.